So you've got a brand new land turtle from Hack5 and you're trying to figure out how to get an easy reverse shell after you've set it up on your network. I'm going to show you how to do that coming up next. Okay, so the first thing we've done is plugged our land turtle into the network somewhere, right? And now we need to get access to it. I per the instructions in the card there or on their website, you SSH into that specific 172.16.84.1, put in your password, and once you're logged in, you get this lovely shell. Next place we need to go to is to the module section. So just push down and click enter or press enter and go to the module manager and hit select. You'll see now that the module manager is stopped and disabled, that's fine. We want to move over with our arrow keys to configure, highlight configure and press enter. Now you'll have the access to the directory where we can download modules. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get one module here. It's gonna ask if you wanna contact Land Turtle. Yes, I wanna connect there so I can get that lovely list of great modules. And there they all are, plenty of which to choose from. We're going quick, we're going easy. So what we need to do is just get the cron so that we can schedule tasks. Make sure you press the space bar so it highlights that and then press OK. Once that says installed, you press OK. And now we can go back to the list. Uh, we'll press back again out of, out of the module manager and you'll see that in the modules we now have cron available to us. Press down and hit enter for select. The next thing we need to do is configure the cron module. So basically what we're going to do is set up a scheduled task. And the good thing is, is that we have some help for us right here. It says see help list and you can see how to set this up. But it's just a regular scheduled cron, do cron job. You'll see I've put mine in there already. And what I've done is I've done star slash one, which means every one minute attempt to do this command and then stars for the rest of it. So that it does this every hour of every day of every week. Okay. And here's my command. I'm going to run NC, which is for netcat, netcat, <laughs> and then NV dash E, which is going to tell me what do I want to execute? I want to execute shell access. So fire off slash bin slash SH, right? Dash W will tell it how long to wait before it times out. You don't want a bunch of these jobs running in the background because Netcat will wait forever waiting for a connection to establish. And we don't want that. So I'm going to have it time out after 30 seconds. Give it the IP address of the machine that I'm looking for. This is my Kali Linux um, PC that I have, a virtual machine that's waiting for a connection. We'll have to start the listener. And then it's going to look on port 443. I like to use ports that have normal traffic running on it. Once that's configured, you would just type this in. I've already pre-typed it and then tab and hit OK, hit o enter. Once that's done, you can see that the status is currently started. It's up at the top. You can see that here. I can't highlight, but there you go. Current status is started and then boot up status is enabled. Uh, you can stop or disable that. Uh, if you need to so if it isn't there if this is your first time doing this it's probably going to be both stopped and disabled so just change that to start and enabled and now we can jump over to our calling machine there we are now i can do netcats dash mvlp which starts the server side of things on the port that we need 443 and i hit enter now it's just a waiting game once every minute that cron job should fire off and then give us access. Once that happens, we'll be logged in the machine. You'll see the connection get made and you'll have that access. Now you don't have to worry about trying to figure out where is that land turtle? What IP did it get? You just hard code those things in. I do recommend that you make sure that the listening machine has a DHCP reservation or a static IP so that when you set that in the configuration of the cron module, it will be able to actually gain access to that. And here we go, We're just making the waiting game happen. All right, we see the connection has been made. I can check that by doing an LS and we see there's turtle.txt, which I slapped to that directory to verify that I have the right machine and it's all good. And that has been a quick bite from IT Pro TV.